of the very thing she always counted on, the use of her arms. But the retired swimmer hopes life will be made easier by the Canine Helper Program. It trains assistance dogs for people with a disability. The powerful arms that once carved Moraka Jonker's way through the water are now failing her. There's just so many little things that I can't do anymore, and I'm used to being completely independent. Even the simple things in life are painful. Most people take it for granted if you drop something, you pick it back up, and some days I can't do that. But perhaps this is an alternative. What's that? Come on, watch me out. Mareka's applied for a trained canine helper, assistance dogs like Wilson, that can help with everything from opening doors to pulling off socks and shoes. Good boy. Good boy. And perhaps most impressive for a Labrador showing incredible restraint with treats. I couldn't believe how smart he was. Wilson is Monique Wegener's assistance dog, helping the 11-year-old deal with anxiety and crowds. <laughs> There's not one dog fits all. It's really specific based on each client's individual needs. Today, Wilson delivered the answer to Mareka's application for a canine helper. Good boy, thank you. To the delight of the Paralympian and her mum, Marion, the answer was yes. That's right, it's not you, Mareka. It's so exciting. Now you're going to be a grandmaster with a dog. <laughs> but that could take up to two years to make possible. Canine Helpers gets no regular government funding and relies on public donations. It costs up to $30,000 to train a dog. When you see what difference they make in people's lives, it's worth every bit. It's really, really amazing what the dogs can be taught to do. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News. Never lose that beautiful smile, Baraka. We'll take a break in a moment. Celebrations for a 103rd birthday and the incredible canvas on show at the Amundi Body Art Carnival.